Indeed. Prosecutors say the women's murders were cold, calculated, and premeditated, and deserve the harshest punishment for this convicted killer. However, defense attorneys say while they accept the jury verdict, there are reasons to spare Robert Hayes' life. Robert Hayes is 39 years old now, but he was a young college student in late 2005 and early 2006 when he murdered first Laquita Gunther, then Julie Green and Iwana Patton. All three women found naked, shot in the head. It wasn't a random act or a shortly planned decision to kill. Each of these murders were basically on a script. Laquita Gunther's oldest daughter told the court what the loss has meant to the family. The what ifs and what could have been either keep me up at night or haunt my dreams. <laughs> my mom mattered. Iwana Patton's niece says her murder has left a huge hole. She was the glue to our family, our problem solver, and a community role model. But Robert Hayes' defense attorneys say there are mitigating circumstances in Hayes' life the jury must consider. That he is a loving father and son. That Hayes isn't all bad. You're going to hear evidence that will convince you that he has, he has committed these crimes, but there's another side to him that takes them out of that group of people that should be sentenced to death. The defense introduced several witnesses on Hayes' behalf to paint that different picture of him. A friend from Bethune-Cookman University days appeared via Zoom, calling Hayes a peacemaker. He was always a cool-headed person in the group, trying to talk things through versus altercations of getting physical. Hayes' cousin, Denise Williams, said much the same. I have never seen Robert raise his voice, Robert do anything outrageous. Mm. The last witness, at least for today, is testifying right now, a clinical psychologist called by the defense who says that Robert Hayes has a lack of executive function, which could lead him to make rash decisions. More on that coming up a little later on. Meanwhile, we expect that the penalty phase of this will go likely through Wednesday. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Claire Matz, West 2 News.